guys, my name is Lata Rabinovich and I'm an artist with over 20 years experience. As you might already know, I'm a huge fanatic of fluid art. I teach, I breathe fluid art, it's everything for me. But you know, I usually draw the inspiration from the nature and today my inspiration comes from beautiful roses I have in my garden. You can see I'm surrounded by this. So, let me show you some cool way how you can add really cool rose on your not such a cool painting. What we do, we have the dry painting, it's already done and it looks the way it is. And you choose the spot where you want to put the roses. It could be one, could be more. Let me show you just one and you would understand what needs to be done. Okay, I'm going to use the bottles. Usually, you know, I'm using the bigger, uh, bigger things, but bigger jars. But today, I'm going to use the small bottles. First of all, what I do, I will put the black, black underline. This is something which will show me where the rose will be. So that's the center, and I am going by a spiral just like that. I don't think I need the bigger one than this. Now, my red one. And here we go. I'm basically copying the same spiral. But here, maybe I will go, oh, 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 I went a little bit off. That's okay. We can fix it later. That's okay. If you got a little bit more, what happened? I had the a little bit small thing stuck inside, so you better always to check if the flow of the paint is good. I didn't do it, so I got a little boo-boo, but that's okay, it's still okay. Now, let's add some white. Again, you don't have to put everywhere, just a little bit. Oh, lucky me, I put extra white even on the middle of this, but that's okay, still fine. Let's do my roses. So, it's right there. Uh oh, I have the shorter one than I thought I have. That's fine. Let's start. Hmm. I really have the shorter one. <laughs> Usually it should be enough paint to cover everything. I didn't do that. So my fault. Let's redo this and put the chain where I can play with this. So that's a first. I will come back for the bigger thing and add it in the end, but for now, let's play with what I have. Just like this. As you can see, now I need to go inside. You can just do that way as well. Look, I almost got the rose. If I wish it will be enough chain, then I will finish it, but since I didn't have enough, clean it up, clean it up, and put it in, and fix whatever wasn't done right. Which basically, let me do this part, and let's start and add more. Yes, just like this. Now I started to like it. Okay, and you can see we can just go like that. And it does look like roses, right? And if I need more, I almost can add a little bit more. Let's say right here, I want to add a little bit more. Why not? Let's add a little bit black. 
Uh -huh, just like this. So guys, don't be afraid. If you're doing something and you did something wrong like I just did, just keep going. That's the main thing. Don't stop. Keep going. So I'm putting it right here, right here. And let's keep... Oh, oh, it's not enough. Let's add more white. I need a bigger leaf right here. So let's add more. Just like that. <laughs> and let's keep open it up. Now I really like this leaf, so I'm trying to be cautious about what I'm doing. I'm going around and closing like this. I think it's already look pretty good, so here we go. I'm adding here. That's what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. And the best part, if you got the paint right there, where you don't want it, just take Oh, it's actually dry. This will be a real paint, not from the previous painting, but real paint. I will just go with a wet cloth and take it away. So, what do you think? Look, I got my painting and I already have the small roses. If I want to add one more, why not? I still can do it. Let's do one more. And we can do one more again. Right here. That's done really fast right now. Look at this. We will just add a little bit black. And right here we will add a little bit white as well. Mm -hmm, just a little bit black. You see, I got some paint. Just clean it up. You see how simple is that? That's the simplest technique you can get. Just like this, keep going. Here we go, that's one. That's another one. You don't need three big roses. One big and two small, more than enough. You see, clean it up. And clean up your chain, put it inside. You actually can start with a chain. You can first put the chain and then put the color. I mean, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. And then you kind of opening it up, you see? You opening it up. And that's how you make the flower. You open your chain up. Okay, if something doesn't look right, go back fix it a little bit so right here it's not definitely not enough white I would need more white and more red inside so it will look more like a rose okay so I got that I'm going inside with my chain turn it like this and I am adding it here we go and here I can even add a little bit more. Yep. Look, now it does look like rose, right? And again, clean it up. If you got any bad spot, clean it up. <laughs> Just like this. You will never be able to do something like this on a red because it already would be wet, right? But you can definitely go and do it on a dry. Okay, let's do one more. So it's, I'm right here and I'm starting to pull the chain. <laughs> That's a strange rose. 
I think we need to make it more round. So let's add a little bit right here. So it will be more round up. <laughs> yeah, guys, you play it, you enjoy, you see you did something wrong, go back, fix it. The chain technique, it's very forgiving and it's cool to work with and it's great for the kids as well. They love this technique. Yeah, you see how simple is this? And now we got perfectly round up rows. Yay! What do you think, guys? It was a boring painting, but now look what we got. And you know what else we can do? We can add some lines. I wish I would have with me my palette knives, but I don't. But I still can go, oi, and can play and add a little bit of everything. And I can add some kind of like a leaves. Let me add it and just with a chain. I prefer the palette knife, but the chain works as well. So with this, you can kind of create something looking like a leaf. Okay, so we got some lines and maybe a little bit more on the other side. And maybe a little bit white as well, by the way. Let's add a little bit white. Just here. So it will connect everything. Okay. And sometimes you're just passing through, but sometimes you can create a really nice leaves. You see something like that? It's pretty cool, right? It's fun and it's easy. So you keep playing, you keep playing until you totally satisfy. Do I need more? It's up to you. If you want, add some more. I don't think I need more than this one. That's enough. And again, I will add a little bit white on top. And that's it. And that's okay if it's dropped somewhere. That's totally fine. Come on, who cares? Still looks nice. And just be careful when going with this uh-huh just like that here we go we got our painting and I'm just playing I'm just being silly <laughs> but here we go that's what we got. You see, you can do the big rows, you can do the small ones, you can do everything. I wish it will be a little bit more red here, but I still like it. Even that way, it looks very festive and it does look a little bit like roses. What do you think, guys? 